Hey guys, Jacob Wheeler here. Today I want to tell you guys how to tie a snail knot. Now a snail knot's not the knot that I'm going to tie all the time, but there's certain particular times, especially for flipping heavy covers. So if I'm flipping 20 pound fluorocarbon, or like today, 65 pound braid, and throwing a big weight and punching mat, this is the knot I'm going to tie. It's fairly simple. So all I do here is a four-out big flip and VMC flipping hook. You're going to put the 65 pound braid through. Now you keep your point towards turning out. So you always want to put your line through the tap, the line tie with the point turning out. So I'm wet it a little bit. There we go like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to double up your line and make a loop on the back side of the shank. That's the big important thing. Loop on the back side of the shank. Give yourself plenty of line. So yeah, that little loop, you see that. We're pinching it. You have to use all your hands. It's a little, it takes a little bit of time, but once you get it, it's pretty easy. Now I have the loop right there. I'm going to go four rotations around the shank of the hook above the bait keeper. One, two, three. And all the time I'm pinching that, that loop in the back. I'm keeping it tight. Four. So there's four rotations. All you have to do to finish this knot is put your line through that, that loop that we just created. Bring it down the shank and start pulling. And there you go. Now you have a snell knot. And what the reason for the snell knot and why it's so important is you'll see that hook kicks out. So when I set the hook, it's going to kick out and hook that fish so much better than if it were a regular polymer or a direct connect. You know, the only thing is making sure that point is sticking out while you're putting it in there is really important because if you go through the back side and you try to do it, it'll go the opposite way and it'll kick backwards and you'll lose a lot of fish. So making sure, always double check it. I've done this before. Always double check that your hook's kicking frontwards, not backwards. I've done that one, once, one time and I, I set the hook and caught a whole bunch or lost a whole bunch of fish and I couldn't figure it out why and I did it backwards. So that's one tip. That's the way I tell a snail knot. Hopefully this tip helps you guys out next time you're on the water.